I started Fiducian Group in 1996. It's grown quite well. The size of the business now is that we have $5.1 billion under administration, management, and advice. Uh, we have five operating entities, funds management, financial planning, uh, advice business, uh, uh, administration business, uh, software development, and accounting. Uh, all of them are profitable, all of them are doing well, and we have a capitalization now of about $130 million. For the half year to uh, December, our funds under management, advice, and administration grew to $5.1 billion, over 20%. Uh, the underlying net profit after tax also for the half year grew by 22% and the earnings per share growth was also about 23% for the half year. So it was quite pleasing. The main drivers for the results were increasing funds under management. Uh, they grew quite a bit up to 1.8 billion. Uh, funds under administration along with the acquisitions we made went up to almost 1.9 billion and funds under uh, uh, administration went up to about 1.3 billion. So all three increased, and as we charge at each level, uh, the profits also rose. Our strategy has been to grow the business at all fronts. Now, uh, the important part for us is to grow funds under advice, and we've increased the number of financial planners, we've increased the inflows, the inflows are pretty strong at over 200 million last year, that money also then invests into our platform. So our platform administers clients' monies, and that has grown to about 1.25 billion. A lot of that money, if it's found right by the financial planners and the clients, is invested in the fiducian funds, which have had some spectacular performance, and fiducian funds have grown up to be almost 1.8 billion. Now at each level and each main operating entity, we receive fees, and that has all added up to increase the revenue and the underlying net profit after tax. I think acquisitions is important for us because we have had a lot of organic growth, but uh, we're also now trying to expand by acquiring smaller to mid-sized financial planning businesses that we can digest properly, that we can benefit our, uh, the investors, and also the ones that have, can fit our culture. And so that's definitely one of the important things for us going forward is acquisition of financial planning businesses. The priority for the longer term is obviously dependent on the next six months too, but it is to grow the business, to be profitable, to deliver good dividends to our shareholders and growing dividends, and to remain profitable. We're not in the business of growing for the sake of growing. If we can't add value and deliver returns and earnings for our shareholders, we don't see any value in the business. So that's going to be the big strategy, increase profits, expand the business, grow the business, and deliver returns and profits for our shareholders.